Hi and welcome to another guitar workout. Today we are going to do arpeggios. The set of exercises that we are going to do today are great for beginners, for those who are just getting started with arpeggios, but also suitable and useful for more advanced players who want to refine a little bit more their technique. So we're going to divide the workout in three blocks and you're going to be shown here in screen as we go through it. The first block is what I call the supported arpeggios, in which the thumb is fixed on a string and only the index, middle and ring finger are doing an arpeggio. This is a great way to start working on positioning and the most basic movement of the fingers. The second level are going to be fixed arpeggios, in which the index, middle and ring finger are static on the same set of strings, but the thumb starts to jump, so we start to get used and process the movement of the thumb independently from the other fingers. The last level is what I call the compact arpeggios, in which the index, middle and ring finger are all one string apart, same as the thumb, and they all move as a block in different set of strings. This last level is focused on the movement of the wrist and the hand as you change the strings. This workout is going to be entirely played with open strings, so you can give a little holidays to your left hand. There are of course many variations that we can do on arpeggios, but I wanted to bring you a very compact workout that covers three very essential approaches and techniques that will surely help you get started in the world of arpeggio and right hand speedy techniques. If you would like to have the sheet music of this workout, feel free to click on the link down below, fill in the formula and the PDF will be sent automatically to your inbox. If you enjoy these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this and write me down below in the description which workout would you like to see in the near future here in the channel. So without further ado, let's start our arpeggio workout. So we start with the ternary formulas without the thumb. We start with index, middle and ring finger, which is an easy one. For all these formulas, we stay with the thumb on the fifth string for support and then the index, middle and ring finger will play the 4th, 3rd and 2nd respectively. To develop a good arpeggio technique, one of the most essential parts is to control the right hand movement. For this first level exercise, you have your thumb helping you out with that. So lean on the 5th string and focus on moving the other fingers from your knuckles and not from your middle phalanx. You see that the movement that you actually need to do is rather small, so try to feel that the movement comes from the knuckles. It is extremely tempting to hold the hand still with a little bit of tension to be more precise on not moving the hand around and engage then only the last phalanx of the fingers. That is one of the biggest and most common mistakes that I see among people who don't have teachers. So if you want to save yourself from a quite sticky habit that is going to give you lots of headaches in the future if you want to change, try to pay extra extra attention to this right now. Okay, we are finishing the first level formulas and we will go to the second one where we will be engaging the thumb. The patterns will come in the same order, with the difference that now have also the thumb before, but now we will be staying with the index, middle and ring finger on the upper three strings, and the thumb is the one that is going to be jumping around from 4th to 5th to 6th, back to 5th and back to 4th. This level might be easier to control the contact point of your index, middle and ring fingers to be always the same and thus trying to find a very steady and solid sound throughout every finger. For this level we need to pay a little bit more attention to the thumb given that it's the one that is extending in distance and contracting back again when we reach the fourth. So make sure that you are steady with your hand, you don't change position because we are not changing set of strings here yet, you stay with the palm of the hand on the same position and the, the movement is coming from the joint of the thumb. The other fingers remain in the same place. There might be a little shake when you use the thumb. Try to always make it less and less so that not your entire hand is shaking when you use the thumb and brings the other fingers out of place. But of course, a little movement is natural. Implementing some arpeggio routines with open strings during your daily work is a great way to not only develop a good right hand, 
but also work a lot on the sound. So when you're playing this exercise, definitely don't play super, super piano. On the contrary, try to play rather loud and dig into the strings, looking for a good round and big sound. This is one of the best ways for you to get more sensitive in the type of sound that you produce if there are some fingers that do not sound good and readjust slowly the nail shape until you find what's the best shape for your type of attack. So we close the level 2 with a descending pattern. It's always feeling nice to close a, a set of exercises with something that feels rather easy and I think this pattern as, as well as the first one are the most natural for us guitar players. Now we're going to start the compact arpeggios in which we're going to play consecutive strings and then we're going to move the entire hand a different set of strings. So the movement now is going to be from the arm. So hopefully you have been working and paying attention to the finger movement, keeping it relaxed, keeping the movement simple and little. And now to readjust to the new set, you only need to move your wrist and bring all the fingers onto the next set of strings. So you really need to keep all the stuff that we have been working before and just re place it to a new group of strings. I didn't mention it before, but just to be sure, the fingers they pluck into the hand, not up on the air. So you're not plucking the string in the upward motion, that's some sort of pizzicato almost. So use the image of the video to see how I play and how you're playing and mirror these to your action so that you can refine and improve your plucking movement. As you have probably observed, the position of the index finger has to be such so that when you play with the index it doesn't crash against the thumb. Now there are some schools that do ask you to open up the thumb way more further away than I have, but for my hand I feel that I get really bad sound if I engage the thumb from so far away. So I try to think it as a fist, so then the sound is more compact, but of course the line of having a wrong movement is more fine and easy to cross. So here you have to make sure that the index finger doesn't touch the thumb when you play, when you strum the string. After many years of experimentation and readjusting position, this has proven me over and over again that is the best way to get a great sound, to have the hand relax and thus be able to play fast stuff without tensing up as much as if you have to force your hand in a very awkward position. You might have noticed that I haven't spoken about preparing fingers or landing fingers ahead of time what we call like yeah planting and this is because planting is a little bit more of extended topic and depending on their page or pattern different uh, planting or preparation can be applied this i work individually with my students and i believe that for such a workout for now you will be much better off developing a smooth movement and eventually if you start to be able to play this fairly easy and comfortable then I would recommend you to do the same workout but preparing the fingers one to one so you pluck onto one string and the next finger immediately plants on the next string you can have a reference here in this uh, formula and the last one I'm actually doing this one to one preparation so you can see exactly how it looks like if you would like in the future to have a workout routine for planting, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely bring it to the channel if I see that many of you are interested in that. For now with this workout, focus on the movement, on the relaxation, on having control over all these and not having your right hand all over the place and you will be already many many steps ahead. Remember that you can also lower or higher the speed of the video so you have different speed routines for the same workout. In any case, be proud of yourself because we made it to the end. Congratulations, you made it until the end. Now you're one step further to play amazing all these arpeggio sections in the pieces that you love. Feel free to use this video on a regular basis during your technique practice if that makes your arpeggio practice a little bit nicer and a little bit more focused. 
As always, it's a pleasure to help you with your guitar progress. And if you want, leave a like and subscribe. Like this, you will be also helping me very much. I wish you all the best, practice well, and I'll see you in the next one.